Hello guys, it's DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Chicken Wing going up against Cook CG, and this is going to be a new format video, and let's hop right in, so we're going to see Cook CG win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and decide to go first, 40 versus 43, opening hands, we have Nacheria, Blessing, Keldo, Sacred Tree, Camilla, and World Soul Carbon, so they're playing a bigger Ishizu package in their list, you know, this card just says Summon It, Tribute, Search an Earth Fairy, uh, if an Earth... Or if a fairy monster you control these field bots in your graveyard, put it to the top of the deck. Um, then they have Fenrir, Murley, Planet, Temple, and Shaylin. Okay, so they're playing adventure cards in their deck. And they're playing Fenrir. Uh, summon Fenrir. Fenrir effect to go search. So Fenrir, go search. Oh, they play not just Fenrir. They play actual Kashtira guys. And they play adventure? Oh my god, does this list have zero going to second cards in it? Activate Planet, go search Rhino. And then they're going to go Shaylin Effect. So Shaylin, summon out by discarding Rhino. Mill 3, Mills Havness Temple, have or Havness Temple, Merly, shake my head. Rhino 1, Havness 2, put back, put back. Okay, bring out Kikalos. Then bring out Rhino by discarding Murley, Kit 1, Murley 2. And then they said, wait, Kit 1, Rhino 2. Okay, so no Murley effect. They're going to dump Shaylin, go search Solik. And then new chain link. Uh, well, not chain link, I guess. Well, you know, Temple. So let me take a deep breath. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so they're going to Shaylin effect then put back to meet Garua. And then link off Shaylin Garua. So I'm just clicking stuff. Okay, so they're gonna go Temple, Banish, Go Search, right. I was gonna say like, okay, yeah, I I, I think this is the right. You wanna bring out Murley. They're gonna go Search, right, and then Kikalos tag out, bring out Murley from the grave, and then mill eight. So they mill Solik. Keldo, Medora, Scream. They already went through both traps, so they can't get Scream effect. They only play two Solik. Right, bring out Trap. This deck also has a lot of bricks in it. The Unicorn has the spell brick with it. Honestly, we're just going to count Unicorn as a brick. Card's whack. Ah, Nox, you can mill Fenrir. Alright, so spell, half brick. Draco back brick. Griffin brick. There's not that many not that many actual bricks but there's a lot of cards that are awkward go for elf elf effect summon back but they can probably set up a really strong board in this build uh links off the fenrir to go for sprint dump murley and then they're gonna use the murley effect Put back, bring out Rukalos. They didn't use Murley, right? That was the one they didn't use earlier. They used the, yeah, Shaylin. Well, hand effect, and then Happiness Graveyard effect. And then they said Kikalos and Murley. But then they ended up not using the Murley effect. Okay. So, overlay, make Babuska. And then set Solik. Pass. Okay, so it's not. It's definitely not bad. It's definitely not bad. They are also on forty-three cards. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I feel about this on board. No, f the the no Fenrir. I mean, we have Sprint detached from a boost get a bounce low, which makes it like really hard to out. And this hand also isn't that good. Oh yeah, I was. I was about to say, like, this should also, like, either Rukalis or Rabuska should probably be under elf, unless they plan on summoning something, something underneath it that they really need to protect it. Keldo, discard Carbon. And then, they're gonna search Kelbeck, special, normal summon Camilla, turn those into Asa. Then they're gonna go Sprint Bounce it. Most likely, yeah. It's like, cause they could just interrupt the Asa. But it could also just beat over Sprint, which could be a problem. So, on to the next game now. We're going to see Chicken Wing go first. We got a Guido, Keldo, Orange Light, Sacred Tree, Blessing. They have Keldo, Fateful Adventure, Draco back, Keldo, and Medora. So they have a very Shizu heavy hand at this point. Uh, go Main Phase, Keldo, Discard a Guido, go search Kelbeck. 
And then, do they activate a Guido effect? They do. All right, mill five. So we're gonna see, oh, they play like Gravekeeper's Trap, Exchange of the Spirit and stuff probably. Uh, they also mill Statue, Camilla, Kelbeck, Stinkbug. And then they mill five. They mill Temple, Rhino. They can't even Rhino effect, so we're gonna see Kelbeck effect, mill five on both sides. And then, okay, yeah, that's why they play the statue. I was wondering, like, how they planned on setting that up exactly. I was kind of curious on that. Um, but they just play the Vernus list, so they probably just plan on bringing it back off of one of these. And then their mill, they hit Murley, Solik, and Kelbeck. So turn player has no trigger effects. They're going to go Murley 1, Solik 2, Kelbeck 3, and then Chainlink 4, Keldo. So Keldo's going to go Interrupt. They still have Medora Engrave, so they're going to put back Temple, Murley, and Dark Ruler. You know, add another card in their deck. And then they're going to mill. They mill Shaylin, Murley, Rhino, and they get to search for Shaylin off Solik. And then they mill. Oh, they mill Exchange of the Spirit and Sacred Tree. Now that is goaded. Milling, like, having this card in Graveyard is so good with all your Ishizus. So they're going to go Shaylin 1, Rhino 2, well... Sacred Tree 1, Rhino 2, Shaylin 3, Medora 4, uh, Go and Erupt, and they can actually shuffle back 5, yeah, I was going to say, they can shuffle back 5, because they have Exchange, so really interrupt their Graveyard there, just by putting everything back, and then we're going to grab Blessing, activate Blessing, bring out Camilla, and then Camilla effect to go dump, so Camilla is going to go dump Sacred Tree, Sacred Tree effect to go search, grab Mole Cricket, and then normal summon mole cricket, mole cricket effect, tribute itself to go special from deck. Camilla will allow us to mill two instead of tributing, so we're gonna mill ducks and then carbon. Now get rid of those to make also, also to go take, it's gonna take Kelbeck. And then we're going to link off in the elf. Okay. What do we make dweller under it or babuska? Okay, we make babuska. Elf, bring out the Sunflower, and then activate Blessing, bring out Camilla, now turn those into IP, pass. They draw Planet, this is probably the biggest end board I've seen this deck make in a while. They usually don't, they, they don't try to end on a bunch, but this is also like, this is the Vernislift build, and more heavy on the Ishizus than, you know, the Runic build that we've been seeing more recently. So they're going to go main phase, activate Fateful Adventure, Fateful Adventure effect, go search Temple, and then discard, discard Temple, Temple effect, banish, grab back right from the grave, activate right, summon token, and then uh, activate Draco back onto the token, and Draco back effect, can't bounce Babuska because elf, so they're going to target elf, and then chain the elf effect to summon back out the sunflower. Nevermind is going to decide to go with Asa instead. Maybe that means we have a Link 4 play. Um, that could come up. Activate Planet. And then Planet Go Search. Planet Go Search Havnus. And then Shaylin Effect. Wait, never mind. Keldo Effect. Discard Medora. Summon. Go Search. So it's going to search for Kelbeck. And then nothing on res, they're going to activate Shaylin, summon out by discarding Keldo, mill 3, mills Agito, Agito effect. That Agito might be kind of scary though, because this player can get a lot of value out of these cards. But I guess you have Planet Pop, which you kind of need at this point. But you can get it another way now. But now we're going to get Kelbeck effect. So, mill 5 on both sides, and then we see them mill Kelbeck, Shaylin. We don't mill anything, uh, but Kelbeck will allow us to set from our grave. So, we're going to go do that, right? Yeah, they're going to set, they're going to set Gravekeeper's Trap from Grave. Yeah, Kelbeck has an effect a lot of people don't remember. Um, it says, if Exchange of the Spirit is in your graveyard, you can set one trap from the grave. So that's pretty cool. And then, they're gonna activate their Kelbeck effect, and their Shaylin effect, and then their Kelbeck effect in hand, target Babuska. 
Do you have like no shuffle backs left or DB just hating? I still have them in deck. DB is definitely hating. So they're gonna chain IP to make Unicorn, uh, bring out Kelbeck, and then they're gonna mill off Kelbeck and then put back to make Kaleido. Now, new chain link, Kaleido 1, Planet 2. You definitely wouldn't want to Planet Target Unicorn because this uh, this was summoned off IP, so you'd want a Kaleido Unicorn, Planet Pop also. They can't get also search because it wasn't link summoned. Or you could even just pop the back row. Uh, at least I think real quick. And then they're going to go Merly Havnus. Chain Unicorn, try to spin back Kaleido. Chain Medora. Don't pop Unicorn, pop back row. Okay, okay, good. I was going to say, just don't pop Unicorn. That's, that's really all that matters. Uh, spin back Merly, Havnus. And they're thinking on what else to spin back. Uh, Camilla, Camilla, Blessing. So putting a lot of the Nacheria engine back. And then they're going to spin the Kaleido, you know, off Unicorn. Uh, then new chain link, tree effect, grab Blessing. Then go in the dark, uh, dark effect, but oh, on summon Mole Cricket, yeah, 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 forgot about Mole Cricket. Also, they play the, the big Vernislif. Did this card actually come out, uh, or is it, has it yet to come out? I don't, I honestly don't know, I haven't, like, caught up with this card, because this card, like, needs a lot of engine, that's what I remember, at least. Once per turn, I don't remember what it does, to be honest. When a monster effect activated by your opponent resolves, if you control five or more earth monsters, you can negate that effect. If you do destroy that card, you can only use the following effects so this once per turn. You can target one face of monster your opponent controls, take control of it. If it does, it becomes earth. During your opponent's turn, you can target one earth in your graveyard, special summon it. Oh, this is actually really good in this deck if you have a lot of Vernus slips, but it doesn't seem like they do because if you bring this off off of Vernus slip, this can then bring back your earth statue okay okay so dark effect target ip chain keldo spin back medora keldo duck camilla ip and they're going to chain their medora and their keldo to spin back six there's four five six okay overlay make redoer and then attempt to enter battle phase they said sure, so just battle phase, beat over unicorn, and then beat over mole cricket, main phase two, pass, draw camilla, redo her effect, they said one sec, no shuffle, okay, so draws ducks on a farm, standby phase, redo her, attach mole cricket, and then Medora effect, shuffle back, sacred tree, sacred tree, bless, I'm surprised they didn't use one of their shuffle backs to hit the exchange of the spirit because you definitely want this in their deck and not in their graveyard just because all their cards get more value now put back rhino shaylin sacred tree sacred tree blessing and then activate blessing bring out from the grave a mole cricket mole cricket effect tribute to go summon two from deck they're going to chain haveness so summon haveness mill three what are the odds they miss you Okay, then we'll have this. Bring out Camilla, bring out Mole Cricket, and then we're going to activate the Camilla effect. And, you know, they get to have this. Go put back, bring out Kikalos. Uh, we get the dump. New Chain Link, uh, Sacred Tree 1, Camilla 2, Mole Cricket 3, Kit 4, Planet 5. Maybe, maybe something like that. Sacred Tree, Camilla. And then Mole Cricket. Yup. Yeah. So good. I'm so good. So, yeah. Planet is going to pop Camilla. Kikal is going to dump Shaylin. Bring out Mole Cricket. Bring out Sunflower. Go search for Camilla. And then they're going to activate Shaylin Graveyard Effect. Chain Sunflower to Tribute to Negate. And then activate Ducks. Discard itself and Camilla. Said so go search. Yep. Mm, okay, so that's gonna go ahead, grab Keldo, and then special summon back out from the graveyard. The Vera said, hold up, how is she? The Vernus Lift, yeah, searches and then summons. So bring out effect, and then they're gonna target dark, 
Alright, never mind. They're gonna target Kit to try to take it and make it an Earth. And then they're gonna chain Redoer. So Redoer will go ahead, detach, take Kit, make it an Earth, and then go for Asa. Asa effect, summon back out Keldo from their grave, chain Keldo effect to spin. So spin back, statue, sunflower. And so you definitely want statue spun back, otherwise you can summon that back during your turn, which can be very scary. So spin back. And then they're going to crash, effects. So double search, they're gonna search Shaylin. And then we're gonna go ahead and search statue. Oh, that's so good here, attack. Main phase two, summon pass to draw Rhino. They don't have any shuffle backs in Grave. So what we can do is we can actually let them just beat over statue if they normal and then bring back and then they can't play. So summon Rhino, battle phase, attack over. So the end battle phase, effect. Okay, what do we bring back? Babuska. Oh, that's pretty good too. That is pretty good. We get to summon Babuska. And then they're gonna go Main phase two, faithful adventure effect, go search, and then discard. Or on special Babuska, go search Draco back. Okay, I guess, yeah, they did put back Draco back. Faithful adventure, go search temple, discard temple, temple effect, banish, grab right, and then activate right, summon token, it is an earth, so that can be done. Activate Draco back, Draco back effect, bounce back statue. And then said, nah, keep that. Bounce back, Vera. Pass, draw a Gito. Standby phase, Babuska goes. Keldo effect, discard a Gito. And then that's gonna go search Kelbeck, summon, no effect. Tribute for Vera. Uh, Vera effect, take the token. And then switch to attack. Battle phase, beat over. And then attack for 2000. Uh, pass turn, draw Cash Tira Birth. They don't have any target for Cash Tira Birth. Didn't they actually spin back Fenrir? Maybe they shouldn't have done that to make Birth like a live top deck. Draco back, target Vera, Vera effect, summon back from the grave. And then that will go ahead and bring out a Babuska. You know, if you bring out Statue, it's not hard for that to get beat over. So they're gonna go Fateful Adventure effect. So Fateful Adventure is going to go search, said dang, set it out the third one. Third temple? Okay. We wasn't supposed to play this long. Set, pass, draw Camilla, Babuska goes, activate Keldo effect, go ahead, put back, put back two Sacred Tree, Blessing, Mole Cricket, Asa. Yeah, I was going to say, this has been a really, really long game too. Dump Sacred Tree, Sacred Tree effect, go search. It's gonna go search blessing and then activate blessing summon out so that'll go ahead probably just bring out mole cricket or i mean they're obviously thinking here it could bring out camilla sunflower so bring out mole cricket mole cricket effect tribute to go summon from deck and then they mill their only target so then they can't summon anything go for an achiria beast uh, Mole Cricket will bring itself out since we summon an Achiria from the extra deck and then go in the Asa. Asa effect to take. They admit the feat. Wow, what a game two. That was really nice. On to game three now. We're going to get to see Tier Element go first. We got Camilla, Sacred Tree, Blessing, Dark Ruler, Orange Light. They have Solik, Planet, Griffin, Rhino, Havnus. So go main phase, Planet, go search Shaylin. And then activate Shaylin effect, doesn't chain Griffin. Okay, discard Rhino, mill three, mills, temple, Kelbeck, Shaylin. Rhino, Shaylin, Kelbeck. They said no Kelbeck. Okay. So, actually, yeah, Kelbeck. Okay, yo, my bad, do you have a response? Said, so, my bad, I'm gonna shut up. Yeah, they said pop off. But, I mean, they do need to mill five. It doesn't seem like they're doing it here. They're, they're probably just gone, waiting for them to finish their combo. So, Solid, Kit, Rhino, Search Havnus, Dumb Murley, Grab Scream. Scream can be popped with Planet. Temple Effect, Grab Back Right. And then they're going to Overlay, Make Abyss Dweller, Abyss Dweller Effect. Okay. Activate Scream, Activate Right. Go ahead, bring out Faithful Adventure. And then Griffin Rider, Summon Out. 
Fateful Adventure, go search Draco back. And then said email five two. See, this would have changed a lot. They had a graveyard, they had Medora, they had Kelbeck. Medora could have spun back the temple, which would have stopped the Griffin, which could have stopped more, which could have shuffled back. Kelbeck could have milled more, but now we're at where we're at. They just came back, so they probably think all of this happened while Dweller was up. It's unfortunate. We've seen multiple matches recently where people just say pop off and then they don't play. As if the as if the game is a one player game. When it like like tier literally makes you play on their turn even if you have no hand traps, they make you play on their turn one. Okay, Kalos, bring out Murley, effects, you know, scream, Murley, Kit, Mill Eleven. And then they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna go Murley, put back itself, kick Kalos, bring out Rue Kalos, planet effect, pop scream, scream, go search trap, go search crime. Then I didn't normal this game, nah. So they're gonna make elf with the griffin. Said wild. What? Placed. Oh, they put back Keldo when they made that? Oh. It definitely looked like they put back the tier name. Maybe it's just because they declared it somewhere. But okay, sure. Uh, Keldo. Banish, go put back. And then. Fateful Adventure, go search Griffin. Discard Draco back. Or discard Havnus. Havnus Effect, that's the last tier name. Bring out Kaleido, pass, draw Flourishing Hills, activate Dweller. They decide not to Orange Light, go Main Phase, activate Dark Ruler. That goes through. And then activate Blessing. And then Shane Griffin Rider. So summon out Griffin, Blessing, bring out Camilla. And then activate Camilla effect. So they decided to Blessing a special summon Camilla. So we want to normal summon something else. And then effect chain griffin to negate and destroy that. Even though... What does this do? It just dumps something random. They're going to orange light, negate, and destroy the griffin. And then chain crime to out the orange light. Still playing? Question mark. I can do one more. Let me put the trap in real quick. Oh, what trap? But alright, we're going to see what the match was about. An hour and 15 minutes long. The game two is very, very long. Game one, game three, very, very quick. But with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.